Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be learning how we can read data from HDF5 files. In the last video, we saw how to create one. Here, we're going to read the data from the same one we created last time. So, let's import NumPy as NP as usual and import this beautiful package called H5Py. Let's do that. Shift tab. And then now, instead of writing to the file, we're going to read the same file we created last time. So, with h5py.file, we pass it the file name as a string, the full path, and then R for reading mode as HDF. So, we're going to be dealing with it with this HDF object, which refers to or points to the H5, uh, HDF5 file. And uh, if you remember, when we created the file, we gave the data sets name so it was a name and then data that name uh, as we mentioned it is a key so it's a key value pair as we explained in the very first video in the, in the, in the, when we had the overview of hdf5 format so uh, to be able to display those keys we're going to be using this keys function so hdf.keys this file hdf5 file object dot keys it returns um all the keys that it has and we, we what we're doing here we're just transforming it in, in into, into a list okay so we save it in ls and then we just print ls so we'll print the keys here so we can see them and after seeing the keys now we can access the values by doing a get so we use the get method or the get function and we give it the key name and it will return the value okay so what we're doing here is uh, if I comment this out and just leave the code to print the key the, the, the keys that we have so we have data key called dataset 1 and dataset 2 okay and now to get the data that is uh, 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 with or corresponds or the value of the key dataset 1 I just say data equals hdf.get and then dataset 1 that's the key uh, 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 name I run that and it's saved into data and now because uh, my data is a numpy array then i need to transform it back into a numpy array by doing np.array of that data and then i should be able to um, get the exact data set one that we create we saved last time so if i have a look at data set uh, one then i should have the same value same values that we saved in the last video um, and then just maybe to read maybe the shape of this data set just to confirm that we are, we, we are accessing the correct uh, data I can do the same thing for data set uh, 2 if I wanted which is 10,000 by 100 and we get the same data okay so that's how to uh, read I'm sorry data set no just because the name here data set 1 so it should be different right uh, that's how to read from HDF5, simple, uh, nice and easy. And this is the other way of dealing with files, like I mentioned last time, um, that we said we can either do it this way and the file will be created automatically, or we can read it the other way, but we have to close the file manually. So just read it again and to have a list of the keys and then close the, uh, the file. And if I have a look at what LS looks like now, it will have the two keys that we created last time. Okay, so let's stop here. In the next video, we'll have more interesting stuff on, that, on, on HDF5 files like adding attributes, creating groups, and so on and so forth. So let's stop here and see you next time.